want to show you how to use the gradient mesh plugin from graphicextras.com. Now, the plugin works with a variety of paths and symbols, etc., but it also works with text in actual just raw text. So uh, you can, of course, uh, convert the text, but this I'm just going to show you with text. So select some text, mysteriously called text, and then go to the I'm going to bring out the appearance palette. Find that via the window menu here. And I'm now going to select the character option, characters. Then go to the object menu and envelope distort, make with mesh. Uh, it comes up with an option here of mesh, rows, columns. Click OK. Now you've got a mesh. Now I've still got contents selected here. So I'm just going to now go to the object menu, filters, mesh, and dialog will appear. This is in CS5. Uh, the plugin doesn't work in CS6, nor will it probably, but it uh, works in CS4, CS3, etc. Right, now to warp and distort text, and you can distort it in thousands of different ways. There is uh, the option, there's a color option, but in this case, not of a no use whatsoever, that uh, section. It's actually the points section is the one you want. And there's various options, basic jitter. So I'm just going to quickly show you, just the, if I just change that, as you see, and I'm actually just going to go to the settings. And I'm just going to remove that option there, which I set earlier. Just a combo. There's a number of settings here. You can actually randomize some of the settings. But, uh, so I don't want that, of course. I'm just going to points again and just change the jitter and you will actually see the path actually starts to distort in different ways. You actually see the various text points. I'm just going to do that. You can control the pattern. So there's different patterns and different jitter modes. There's a zoom shift, other sort of checkerboard shifts so you can sort of distort one part of it or jitter it in one di different sort of direction or shift based on color well that's obviously not going to be much use since it's there is no color in this so uh, next zoom shift i'm just going to select that one and you can do various patterns now one of the options the best options probably to do rapid sort of changes you can actually go to this interpolation so it puts it down to zero so it, or you can extend it out you can sort of maximize the sort of sort of limits or reduces the effect of a the zoom shift so you can sort of see the the text zoom out and of course let go it reduces down now 180 so you have more extreme text and then you could actually change different nodes on different positions so vertically and horizontally that's basically on that side's horizontal and vertical that's on horizontal and that's vertical as well so basically you can do that and also you can manipulate a particular isolate a particular node in the thing so i'm just going to just so it's in that case it's just a row so it's when it's minus one it's actually now the whole row is being affected so i'm going to go to the next row next row next row so you just see just going through as it goes through and of course if i put that up i can actually it's now just affects just one node in here so seven five the position there obviously if you do a a mesh that's say 20 by 20 it would have different settings here but uh, now i'm just going to go back to what the default was minus one and minus one so let's like say there's lots and lots of different uh, jitter modes that you can just go through so you can see different effects different patterns that apply to the things you can get different ripples of different uh, envelopes also once you've done you can actually apply this tumble which actually you can go through and you will see so you just click that so you can actually run through a whole range of different settings so i'm just gonna just click that a few times you can just click a whole range sometimes you get really extreme designs or other times it does nothing but i'm just going to finish there and you can shuffle the thing by clicking the, the shuffle option so if you you're happy with the actual general approach but you would want a bit of randomization you can just click shuffle right once you're finished click OK and basically you've got the and you can still of course modify the different points manually if you wish but now you've got distorted really distorted text 
uh, in a very quick and easy way.